One, two, going up along the inside and ready to go. Be an inside auction pattern. So let's go there. $100, $110, $110, $20, $20, $30, $40, $140, $50, $60, $70. Let's go there. 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 let us go there 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 let
tonight, 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 Elijah. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey. There's milk wagons, boy. And I'll tell you what, you can raise a baby calf on them. Choice? 95, but I give 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 210, 220. 220. About as good as I've ever seen. 230. 40. 240. Let me get you tied. 235. 245. Do they have futures on goats? 250. 565. 265. 270. 280. 290. $300. 310. 310. $300. But I get 10, 10, 10. $300. What's that? Rick. Rick. You want them both? Two of them, two times the money. That's a boy. Hey, there's a good blooded Billy. Somebody won't raise you one. 110, 110, 10, 10, 20, 30, 130, 25, 125, 30, 130. Where'd he go? 130, Crow. 130 dollars. Did you do it? I didn't get you now. 125, 30, 30, 125. Empty go. Nanny? Fifty-five. Fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five. Eighty. Five. Ninety. Five. Hundred. Five. Hundred and five. Hundred up. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty. You do it? Five. One twenty-five. Thirty. Hundred and thirty-five. One forty-five. Hundred and fifty. Five. Sixty. Seventy. Eighty. Ninety. Two hundred. Two ten. Two twenty. Two thirty. 240, 250. Huh? 240. Ty, you must have bought that for her, huh? Put a smile on her face. $100, 110, 110, 1020, 120, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 170, 80, 90, 200, 200, 190, Bubba Zero, Bubba Zero. All right, well, auction done. Here's our results. Uh, total of 10 goats. I think I mentioned that. These two, for whatever reason, they sold those two um, as a pair. Well, not, not as a pair, but they sold them both at the same time. Whereas everybody else was one at a time. Not really sure what was up with that. I guess they figured they were close to the same size or something. But here's the breakdown on all of them. Um, and I don't remember who was black goats or, or black and white goats or whatever. One of the brown goats here was the Billy. So he went for 190. Another one of the brown goats was a doe, I think, went for 100 But you can see everybody came in right around 75 to $80 to $90. Um, most of these were the kids. It's kind of funny that the, the smaller kids sell for almost the same price as a doe. And, uh, yeah, the Billy got $190 just because he's an all-around bigger goat. But gross pay was $1,000. They don't have a breakdown here of the, of the auction fees. They just have this general discount, uh, which covers their auction fees, which I asked them on the phone. They said they just charge, you know, so many dollars per head, basically for the goat, which it works out to, uh, my net pay was eight ninety, So that works out to basically $11 per goat worth of auction fees, which I can't really complain too much because, you know, I just took them, dropped them off and they handled all the rest. So I'm happy with this. I'm very happy with this considering I'm selling somebody else's goats. You know, a deal like this doesn't happen very often, that's for sure. <laughs> you know, um, it's not very often somebody's going to call you up and say, hey, you can have my entire goat herd if you want. Do what you want with them. I don't care. Um, but when you add it all up, I had the cost of getting a trailer. I had the cost of fuel. I had a lot of time. Um, so really, in the end, you know, yeah, I still made a couple hundred bucks, but um, it cost me quite a bit to, to pull it off, too. So anyway, not complaining. I'm sure happy to have it. Uh, I guess a little bit more reassurance to me that, you know, there's actually some money in goats. No, you're not going to get rich, uh, but there's some money in goats. And it's got me thinking, actually, that I might maybe someday see about getting some more of my own out here. Now, of course, you know, we have the dairy goats. We're very happy with the dairy goats. Um, and there is market in those, but it's more of, I think it's more of a one-off select market. Um, so this has me thinking about more about these Spanish goats. Um, 
you know, getting some of them and just running them back here on my place and letting them just kind of do their thing, you know, clear the underbrush and, um, you know, reproduce and sell the babies every year. So that's always an option. It's just not something, I mean, you're looking at this, this thousand dollars, that was for his whole herd. Um, and, uh, you know, that was after he probably owned them for at least two years, I think he said. So, you know, I'd be hard pressed to throw a whole lot of money into the infrastructure. That's what would kill me was it would cost me so much to put up the fence just to keep them in. And yeah, there's some intangible value. They're going to, you know, underbrush and keep the property clean or whatever. Um, but there's that potential that each year you get a little something back out of them. So as long as you can keep your inputs minimal and not be feeding them all the time, let them just live off the land, you know, then you, you do okay. But I don't know. I'll have to run some better numbers before I dive off in that venture. But this is it for now. Goats are sold, and I'm happy with it.